Are you looking for best filament dryer? Our experts found thousands of feedback online for best filament dryer and shortlisted them. This suggestion is created for those looking for their ideal best filament dryer. You can find more information and updated pricing on the product mentioned in the description below. Hey, Heidi, you should try this. Oh, oh, great. Hi, everyone. This is Heidi from Sova. Do you have the similar experience as mine before? Gradually, we have the Sova filament dryer, which is able to remove the moisture from the filament and restore good print quality. As we all know, the filament is easy to absorb moisture in the air if you don't store it in a vacuum environment. After it gets humid, if you don't do anything to dry it, you will get the poor print quality. Sometimes people ask suggestions for their filament prints like this. Well, we will say you need to dry your filament. Yes, the moisture in the filament will cause streams uneven extrusion lines, buffers, even it will make you hot and get hot, which really make us havoc. We can call the moisture the killer for the cream. As you read that there's no way those moisture filaments have this in all. Put them into soil filament dryer. Set the temperature in drying time, then it will work. Ensure the temperature and humidity. You can remove the moisture from filament and restore its good print quality. This filament dryer has large volume, so the fan inside will have it heat more evenly. And there are two different outlets. The filament can be loaded from here to the extruder. That's very convenient. Don't worry about that lip will pop up during printing because there are two clips to lock it. Besides, it has a silicon spicer. If you also want to store the filament in this dry box, just add a discount and close the lid and the teflon outlet. That will be the vacuum environment. Another thing I need to mention, this button is unuseful, so in next batch, we will remove it. So the another fair is printed and we can see the huge difference between these two models. About using this solar filament dry, we usually suggest you heat the moist filament for several hours, then you will get a good print quality like this. For different materials, we have the tips here. So thanks for watching this video and welcome to share this video with your friends who may need it. And do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you won't miss any update from us. How's it going 3D printers? Andrew Sink here, and in this video we're going to be talking about the Cyclopes by Ibos. The Cyclopes is a fully programmable filament drying system, which allows you to set a time and temperature for your 3D printing filament to remove moisture before printing. If you're printing with nylon or PETG or any other hygroscopic material, a filament drying system like the Cyclopes is a must-have. The Cyclopes is about the Eurus, a USB-powered filament vacuum pump. The two products complement each other very well, and you can see my video on the Eurus in the description below. Base is really the only setup or installation required. All we have to do is snap them into place, and they just click right into the plastic standoffs. And then we can test using a spool of filament to make sure everything rolls as it should. We can now place the plastic cover on top of the base unit, and the Cyclopes is fully assembled and ready to go. The instruction manual includes some good information, and I'm including some screenshots of it here, so feel free to pause the video if you want to read a little bit more about how it works. Turning it on is very simple, you just hit the power button, and then you can set the temperature and time depending on the material that you plan on using. For my initial test, I'm using an old spool of Solutec that I've had for a long time, this spool isn't really reliable, I don't use it very much anymore, but I put it through a 4 hour drying cycle before running a print, and that brought the humidity in the container from about 44% down to 30. 
One of the first things I noticed was that the purge strip from the Prusa, which is usually uh, pretty perforated and there's a lot of popping, looked amazing. It was one solid piece and this was a great indication that the part was going to print well. And it did. The support broke right off the part and the filament looked like it was brand new. I was really impressed considering this was filament that I haven't used for over a year because prints would usually fail whenever I used it. So again, this part looks really good. All the vertical walls look really sharp and clean. There isn't a big seam from the start and stop points. And in general, it's just a really good indication that this filament dryer is going to work. So if you go through a lot of filament, the Cyclopes probably makes a lot of sense to have. It's a great way to restore old filament and also to guarantee that the filament you have right now is printing as it should. You can learn more about the Cyclopes and also the Eurus, the filament vacuum bag that's also made by Ibos, on their website, which I've included in the descriptions coming out soon. As always, thanks for watching and have fun printing.